We're in the University College Hospital Macmillan Cancer Centre. We've designed this building around the needs of patients rather than the other way around. We think this is a flagship service for cancer services across the UK. The co-location of all the services the patient needs under one roof and the juxtaposition with the Institute of Cancer Research allowing new research findings to be brought into the clinical arena as rapidly as possible is the way forward. It's impressive. And that's the only word I can use to describe it. The whole focus of the building is really about the patient experience and how we can kind of make that the best that it can be. The second floor is the chemotherapy day unit and ambulatory unit. All adults will get their outpatient chemotherapy there. It's a really beautiful environment. You can opt to have chemo in a room where there are other people or you can be in a little private room of your own if you wish. Moving to the cancer centre has given people a lot more choice. So families staying together, seeing their friends and being hospitalised for as little as possible. They offered us a choice, either be an inpatient or stay in our hotel. When we checked in here, we weren't really sure what to expect. It is like a hotel, but it's a hotel with extras because in every room there is a panic button. So if you are worried about anything that's happening with your treatment, you can immediately get in touch with the cancer centre. From the perspective of a carer, being in hospital, I just felt I was a bystander. But here, I felt part of the care team. It made the whole thing much, much more bearable. One of the beauties about working here is that we've got wonderful diagnostic facilities, first of all, state-of-the-art imaging, and we've got the only uh, PET MRI, which is one of the latest scanners in Europe. Uh, so it's fantastic to have that very nearby. We, we're running probably about five studies in, prost in early prostate cancer. They're diagnostic studies to see if we can diagnose the disease better and therapy studies to see if we can come up with treatments that confer less harm on patients. We're trying to see if an imaging test, something called MRI, it's like a scan, can be used to avoid men having biopsies. One reason you're here is that somebody thinks that you might be at risk of having prostate cancer. Uh, cancers of the prostate are about 1 40th of the size of the prostate. With modern imaging techniques, we can find out exactly where it is, and then we can direct energy at that. And we're, we're using laser, we're using sound waves, we're using electricity, and treat just the cancer and preserve the overall structure. So MRI alone is not a standard diagnostic tool? Not in the UK. We've been using it a lot, um, uh, but we're unusual. There are a few places around the world that do it. If this works, we might be able to avoid half a million biopsies a year. When you are presented with this possibility that you have prostate cancer as a patient, you want to make absolutely certain that you get the best uh, diagnosis and care possible, and I believe the trial does that. Um, on my altruistic side, uh, I can say that also it does something for the wider group. On this third floor is a teenage and young adult unit. We've got a beautiful social environment where people can kind of hang out, chat to each other and really have peer support from each other. We work in partnership with a couple of charities. Obviously Macmillan is one of them throughout the building but also Click Sergeant and the Teenage Cancer Trust have got a lot of involvement here on the floor making the unit a bit more of an inviting place for teenagers and young adults. On the fourth floor is the haematology floor and also a massive apheresis service. And on the fifth floor, we've got a beautiful patient garden. For anyone coming into the cancer centre, we understand here that that can be a time of great anxiety and stress. When you come into support and information service, you will be greeted by people who understand that stress. Patients can just drop in, there's no appointment needed. Sometimes people come in just wanting information. How do I get benefits advice? I'm trying to get travel insurance, I haven't been able to get it, can you help? Sometimes they just need someone to talk to and we're a safe place for people to be able to come in, talk to us about whatever it is that's on their mind. Sometimes you just want to sort of shout or, or scream or cry and other times you just want to sit quietly and they're there for all them mixed emotions that you feel at that time and I advise people, you know, give it a go, be brave enough and walk through those doors and I can guarantee that 
that you'll walk in again and again and again. Macmillan isn't just about the end of life care, it's about actually supporting people throughout their journey from diagnosis through to finishing treatment, living beyond having cancer. We're there for the whole journey.